This weekend, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny opens in theaters. The famous archaeologist returning to the big screen. But did you know another archaeologist who created news of his own lives here in New Albany? Wave Sunrise anchor Shannon Kogan introduces us to him and his very cool car. It's not every day you see a DeLorean. Well, I used to love driving this to Skywalker Ranch every day. David West Reynolds is talking about the Skywalker Ranch. The California workplace of famed Star Wars creator George Lucas. This car was a bonus for my first best-selling Star Wars guidebook. David became fascinated with Star Wars as a child. At 13, he drew a design of how the lightsaber worked. Years later, the IU grad got a PhD in archaeology from the University of Michigan and embarked on a journey to find the original Star Wars shooting locations. Back before the internet and before GPS was in common use, it was very easy for a location to be lost. People said it's, it's probably impossible, but even if you could do it, why would you do such a thing? They thought that's just pointless. For David, it was a test of his skills. He and a friend traveled to Tunisia. I started at the Mediterranean coast, went all the way across the country to the Algerian border deep into the Sahara. I had to look everywhere, but I used archaeological techniques to narrow down my search territories. He tracked down a couple dozen locations over six weeks. I never dreamed I would find props that had been abandoned by the production 20 years earlier, but the desert preserves everything. He wrote about his discoveries in the Star Wars Insider magazine, just as Lucas was planning the prequels. They would need to go back to those same filming locations, and that's when George Lucas found out from his archivists, we don't know where that information is. I'm the only person in the world with the GPS coordinates of the lost Star Wars locations right when George Lucas needs that information. The producer learned about David and hired him as a location scout. He can't believe that I've tracked them down. I teach him the techniques that I used. Back at Skywalker Ranch, David created the Star Wars website and wrote guidebooks. And I said, we're going to cut away a lightsaber. We're going to show the insides. And they said, where are you going to get a design for that? They didn't know that at age 13, I'd already sketched the design of a cutaway lightsaber. And he made one addition. So I put the crystals in the lightsaber, made that be the test of a Jedi's force sensitivity, and now that whole ritual that I created is now a big part of the, of the lore in the Star Wars universe. It's a story that continues to inspire him, and when he's behind the wheel of his DeLorean, dream. It feels like driving the Millennium Falcon. It feels like a spaceship. And today, David West Reynolds is an author, a speaker, and a consultant. He says that George Lucas taught him the power of narrative and helps teams find their own story.